Good evening, Ultrasound users. Again, Niranjan for Ultrasound. Today, we are going to discuss about the ultrasound gel used for, you know, to make a good contact with the transducer in the body. Now please understand, there are people who use paraffin oil also, even now. I have seen customers, you know, people those who use paraffin oil, their probes has a slightly bigger light. The reason is, the jelly, the gel or jelly, you know, available in India, slightly that viscosity is slightly, you know, less. We call it as, see, most of the American manufacturers, they say that medium viscosity. Medium viscosity is something like, you know, 1.3 lakh CPS to 1.8 lakh CPS. You know, these things are all, maybe a, a doctor may not understand. My sincere suggestion is, when you buy the machine, you would have come across a gel called Parker, P-A-R-K-E-R. This Parker Labs are the kind of people, those who have come out on jelly, gel, according to me, first in the world. And the most important point is, any manufacturer, whether it is Chinese or American or Korean or Japanese or Indian or American, anybody, accepts Parker is the best gel in the world. My sincere suggestion is the only reference what we have on gel is Parker. So when you are having that, you know, when you get a new machine, that time you try to compare or a simple thing, it should have a good viscosity. What does that mean? Good viscosity is when you put it over the body, it should not come down. It should not roll down. You got the point? If it is rolled, rolling down, what does it mean? It is very liquid. See, gel is nothing but a water. So what will happen is, this water particles will get into the probe. See, there are two things are possible with a gel. One is, if the water gets into it, it will start working, you know, inside slowly, then ultimately you will have, you know, crystal damage in the probe. Most of the linear probes get into that effect because the body inside, you know, the gel goes inside. How, we, how the gel goes inside? It's very simple. See, when you scan the patient, patient when you, after the scanning, you keep the probe like this, you know, the head is on the top, something like this, the probe is head on the top. So, the water automatically due to the gravity it gets into the, you know, the corner of the uh, probe, there are some openings that will happen slowly and the water will get into it. You will find, whenever we open the probes, you know, we find a lot of, you know, green patches. Even if, if, if you want to try, I know, you turn the probe, and just press the head, you know, you will find the gel comes out. My sincere advice is, whenever you, as soon as you complete the scan, one is you wipe the gel. When you are wiping the gel, the cross-contamination to the next patient will not happen. More than anything, your probe is very, very safe. And, and the evening, see to that, the, even the corners have been cleaned. So that the gel doesn't get into probe. Very important is, the gel should not be a you know, corrosive type, non-corrosive uh, gel. The thing is, it is something similar to when you are using the, see, when you buy the probe, you know, the, the, the lens, you are seeing it, after uh, two years, the lens gets corroded, you will find the thickness of the lens has come down. Maybe decolorization also. Like this is a kind of gel, uh, you know, corrodes the membrane, the lens. My sincere suggestion is if you have any doubts on gel, do call me. I will give you a lot of information and I suggest, you know, the to check into the Parker Lab reference so that you will understand. See, the, the best aspect is we are yet to have a Parker dealer in India. Whenever I go for an international conference, I ask Parker, why don't you have a, a, a dealer in India? He says, the price we cannot match. So there is somewhere the quality, you know, needs to be worked out. Anyhow, this is an eye-opener. Uh, 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 be careful when you buy gel. You know, see the viscosity. Don't add mixed water and make it liquid. Ultimately, you are going to spoil the probes. Take care of your probes. Take care of your ultrasonic equipment. A great day.